This is a complete Mercruiser 4.3 engine. We have the engine, transom, and drive, and we're gonna be doing a series of videos explaining each system in depth so you get to know your motors better. Our first episode is gonna be the cooling system. So this is an alpha drive. We're gonna start at the drive. This is kind of where every cooling system starts. It's important that this is an alpha because the alphas have the impeller mounted down here in the lower unit, whereas the Bravos have an engine mounted water pump and all the newer stuff. Down here, this is where we suck water. This comes in from the lake and right about here, there's an impeller. The impellers are little rubber finned. This is what an impeller looks like. This is not for a Mercruiser, but you get the idea. It's got these rubber fins. From there, that sucks lake water and pushes it up through the drive. On the other side, there's a water tube that goes through the transom. Once we're through the transom, I don't have my glasses on, but this is our main water feed hose. This comes through the transom over to the port side of the engine. From the port side, it follows its way up here to the front of the motor and it feeds up to the thermostat housing. Once we're in the thermostat housing, water flows this way down to the circulation pump here. It also flows out of these two hoses here to the bottom of the manifolds. This is raw cooling water to the manifolds. While we're up here, the engine water, the block water that comes out hot, also gets mixed with the cool water that's coming straight in so it's warm water cooling the manifolds. From the circulation pump on either side of it, it's gonna be pushing water into the block. This is what actually cools your block, flows through all the passages, and then it comes up underneath the thermostat housing and then goes out the exhaust. Once the water goes through the exhaust, this is jacketed, so it's cooling the outside while the hot exhaust air is on the inside. It gets mixed up here in this elbow and then it goes back down through the transom down here. And then that's why when you run these engines out of the water, you see the spray here and on the other side. It also goes through the exhaust bellows and comes out down by the drive, down by the prop. Notable mentions, if you have a power steering cooler, like most of the new ones do, this is an older motor, power steering coolers will be back here. If there's an oil cooler, it's down there on that port side. This is a fully raw water cooled motor. The newer product has what's called a heat exchanger. It takes raw water from the lake and uses that to cool the coolant in the coolant reservoir. Those motors use that coolant. That coolant goes through the motor and essentially your heat exchanger is your radiator. These motors and a lot of them are just fully fresh water cooled. So we don't have any of that to worry about. That is episode one. That is how the cooling systems on these motors work. Make sure to come back for number two. I don't know what we're doing, but we're kind of going through the entire motor. Full videos on YouTube.